Every sunrise on our planet is a step towards new astonishing discoveries, whether it's grand remnants of the past or mystical creatures from other worlds. Let's delve deeper into the most mind-blowing scientific discoveries. In this compilation, we will showcase what has shocked the world and how many extraterrestrial remains have been found on Earth. You are on the Top Facts channel, and of course, let's get started. Approximately 80 human skeletons were discovered during excavations in Athens, at the site of an ancient Greek settlement. They were arranged in a row, some facing up and others facing down, but all had their wrists shackled with iron fetters, with faces reflecting the screams and expressions of terror at the moment of death. Based on dental analysis, scientists determined that they were young men who were killed between 675 and 650 years BC. Why did they suffer such a cruel punishment? According to historical records, they might have been a group of rebels who spread terror under the leadership of the Athenian ruler Cylon, in an attempt to establish a tyrannical regime. They all paid with their lives. The rest of the population rose against the aggressors, and the rebellion was quelled, with many being brutally killed at temple altars, giving rise to the expression Cylon's sin, or Cylon's abomination meaning sacrilegious murder. They all met a painful death and were buried in the earliest common graves in ancient Greek history. Several years ago, another shocking discovery was made in Peru. A mass burial site was found of children. Over 140 bodies of children aged between 5 and 14 were found in a common pit. According to experts, they belonged to a civilization that lived between the 10th and 15th centuries, and this appeared to be a ritual burial. All the bodies had their sternums opened, suggesting their hearts might have been extracted. This heartbreaking discovery is considered the largest mass burial site of children in the world. The Caribbean Basin, in the Mexican area, has always been restless, and it holds the final refuge of numerous ships. One of those unfortunate shipwrecks, sunk here about 200 years ago, was discovered by archaeologists. An extremely rare find, an English ship from the late 18th and early 19th centuries, it became the ninth exhibit of the underwater archaeological park, a true gem of historical discoveries. Imagine, the dying were petrified as statues for thousands of years. These two men were trapped. Two young men, aged 18 and 25, one of them the owner and the other his slave attempting to escape Pompeii during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, but death sealed their bodies on a staircase in the villa. The volcanic eruption turned Pompeii into ruins, but these two men remained together forever. Their bodies were filled with plaster to preserve the tableau of this historical drama. On the southern coast of Bolivia, another enigma was discovered, sent to the city museum, a creature similar to a human with non-humanoid characteristics. Scientists considered the skeleton with a strange cone-shaped skull to be a human fetus between seven and nine months old that may have been stillborn due to various anomalies. Its body was too small compared to the head and twisted and curved. According to some specialists, this deformity could simply be the result of a genetic anomaly and not an attempt to crossbreed Homo sapiens with non-human species, like in the movie Alien. What you see on the screen is a small figurine only 15 centimeters long found during excavations of an ancient city in the Atacama Desert, Chile, in 2003. Although the figurine appears human, there are significant differences that raise doubts. It has an elongated and convex head and 10 ribs instead of 12. The tiny body was considered an extraterrestrial, but after a detailed analysis, the research team discovered that the figurine belonged to a woman of the human species, whose body exhibited 64 never-before-seen genetic mutations. Due to the discovery in the Atacama Desert, this uncommon object received its own name, Atta. A group of Mexican farmers in May 2007 were very frightened by a strange animal they had never seen before. They sent the finding to a laboratory for analysis. It turned out to be a creature of unknown origin, and its DNA was a complete mystery to scientists. 
Samples of the three-dimensional scanned DNA molecule were sent to laboratories around the world, and the creature was called Metapec. It was called a creature because its hairless, humanoid-shaped body had some human characteristics, although it could not be called human. Some claimed it could be a hoax, but the people who found this creature claimed it was alive and moving. It is unknown if this sample could be evidence of extraterrestrial life, as scientists continue to struggle with this enigma, as well as the fact that the farmers allegedly found it alive, while the body that arrived at the laboratory was lifeless. Another anomalous discovery on the Nazca Plateau, Peru, has generated debates. A group of scientists claim that the remains found with a deformed skull, large eye sockets, and small holes instead of ears do not belong to a human race. The mysterious five-foot-tall body was completely mummified in a seated position and covered in white dust. The strange figure had three long fingers instead of five, clearly differing from human structure. Even after conducting complete DNA tests, scientists were unsure of the age of this sample and to which species it could be attributed, but they are certain that the nature of this anatomy is extraterrestrial. A true 72-million-year-old dinosaur, nobody could believe it until they saw it with their own eyes. This dinosaur embryo, found inside a fossilized egg, was, according to scientists, the best preserved specimen. The embryo, named Malicha in Leon, was discovered in Gonzo, southern China. Look, this egg is simply a work of art, a sculpture. In this unique position, the fetus developed for 17 days and then changed parking spots. It's truly a rarity to see a dinosaur hatch from an egg, and that some eggs are preserved for such a long time How big was that dinosaur if one of its tails was gigantic? Watch as this guy patiently cleans the massive fossil with a brush. A colossal tail was discovered in the Mexican desert in the border state of Coahuila, revealing 50 vertebrae belonging to the skeleton of a hadrosaur, or crested duck-billed dinosaur, yes, there were those too, that roamed our planet about 70 million years ago. These were the first dinosaur excavations in Mexico, and now archaeologists are hoping for more discoveries. Are you sure dinosaurs went extinct? This video is from the Indian province of Maharashtra, where scientists found a rare fossil that has been identified as the oldest dinosaur in Asia. The fossil remains looked more like an ancient rock, and overall this region of India, like a chamber of wonders, is filled with magical discoveries, from fossilized sharks, to eggs of extinct species. By uncovering all this, we can learn about what happened on Earth millions of years ago. These excavations look more like a construction project than scientific research, but what they found was more than just a fossilized skeleton. It was the best dinosaur fossil find ever. The Dinosaur Park in Alberta, Canada, is basically a graveyard of bones from different dinosaur species, but this specimen was found with its skin intact. Imagine what it would be like to touch the skin of a dinosaur. Nobody has experienced those sensations before, and the skin itself didn't resemble the skin of any large animal or reptile. The hadrosaur's skin was of a type we haven't witnessed on Earth. Although it was fossilized, it remained preserved for 75 million years. During an artifact search in 2014, a team of divers who plunged into a cave in Cuba were amazed to discover a vast amount of unique animal remains during an underwater expedition. Descending to 70 feet, scientists found an underwater museum of fossilized bones from extinct animals, which were between 4 and 5,000 years old. What they could identify were a femur, a large tooth, and part of a front limb. And all these rare parts belonged to an unknown animal that stood 13 feet tall in life and weighed more than a full-grown elephant. Imagine encountering a giant crossing the street. It's scary, right? That's what scientists found in Argentina in 2012. The remains of this dinosaur are considered the largest ever found on Earth. 
The giant specimen measures between 115 feet long and weighs nearly 170,000 pounds. This species, belonging to the sauropod family, is called a titanosaur. Its enormous skeleton was buried under a thick layer of thick mud. Scientists had to dig deep to find it. A group of eight people is trying to measure the fossils of a fish. Incredible, right? Yes, it's the skeleton of a massive sea dragon, one of the most significant discoveries in British history. The fossils found by scientists in August 2021 in Midlands, England, were identified as remains of an ichthyosaur that lived about 180 million years ago. Some individuals reached 82 feet in length. The family of marine reptiles appeared on the planet approximately 250 million years ago and went extinct about 90 million years ago. So we are lucky to witness an authentic dragon that also swam. Would you like to see who lived in your garden 3,800,000 years ago? It would be interesting to see what they looked like. Honestly, what scientists found made them exclaim in unison, how ugly! Geologists from Michigan conducted research in the remote region of Ethiopia and discovered an extremely rare fossil, possibly an early ancestor of humans. Now, these remains are exhibited in the Museum of Natural History and, according to the researchers, have changed the game in terms of ideas about human evolution. Well, at least tell me it wasn't that ugly. After all, it's an ancestor. We should not think that medicine is a modern technology. Let's check it with the example of ancient Chinese civilization. Archaeologists have amazed the whole world. During the excavation of an ancient emperor's tomb, ancient herbs were found, authentic plant relics that could be over 2,200 years old, and they were perfectly preserved. These are the earliest samples of processed plant-based medicines used in traditional Chinese medicine to treat arthritis. In 2015, during the construction of a road in the northwest part of Iran, another astonishing discovery was made. Ancient catacombs were excavated, and inside rested a strange mummy in a sarcophagus. If it was human, it was unusually large. The mummy was intact, with a perfectly preserved body adorned with gold sheets and precious stones. Its eyes were replaced with coins, and it wore a crown on its head. Due to its extraordinary size, Experts believe that the body could have belonged to a historical giant called Anunnaki, and the age of the mummy could be around 12,000 years. If you found a 300-year-old mummy, would you really open it on the spot instead of taking it to a laboratory to do so under proper conditions? And what if inside that coffin there were ancient viruses waiting to encounter the world? This video was recorded in Vietnam, where they found a 300-year-old mummy tightly wrapped in cloth, and everyone gathered to see what was inside. Interestingly, they unwrapped the cloth, apparently expecting to find treasures, without concern for the historical significance of the find. Well, they seemed brave enough to do it all with bare hands. The legends of Egypt are endless. During an excavation in an unexplored desert in 2019, Archaeologists found mummified monsters from the Nile 10 astonishing objects that included five heads and five nearly complete bodies of enormous crocodiles. The bodies of these unusual treasures were completely intact and were discovered in sand quarries near the western shore of the Nile, each measuring between 6 and 11 feet in length. The purpose of these mummies for the ancient Egyptians remains a mystery of their mystical ancient culture. If the strange Egyptian customs of mummification no longer amuse you, allow me to show you Jerusalem, where in 2014 archaeologists found a very peculiar artifact. During an excavation of an ancient tomb, a group of archaeologists discovered in a hole some enormous jars that were likely filled with treasures. Their surprise was great when they found out that inside those containers were the tiny bodies of nine frogs, cruelly decapitated. Scientists couldn't answer why decapitated frogs were placed in the jars, but many believed it could have been part of a funeral ritual in the Bronze Age. Unknown structures have been found in Saudi Arabia. Thousands of stone trapdoors, as if they were built to trap animals. 
and some of them appear to be scattered graves in the midst of lava fields. This place was discovered by archaeologists using Google satellite imagery, which explored the land from above. In Saudi Arabia, these stones are also known as desert predators and have very few visitors. The Al-Nasla'a rock in Saudi Arabia is remarkable because the stone appears to have been split in two with a single strike in the middle, as if a massive laser had cut it with a powerful beam. This natural monument is of enormous dimensions and creates an artistic spectacle for awestruck viewers. The nature of this laser-like cut in the rock remains a mystery, but another question arises. How do the stones maintain their pristine condition? Their surfaces appear to be polished. Many people consider this phenomenon supernatural and believe in the existence of powerful extraterrestrial lasers. After all, who else could have taken and split the rock in half? Number one. It is possible that aliens ruled the world before humans, and perhaps they couldn't hide all the remains. This video makes us think about that. The unusually elongated skulls and the very heavy skeletons discovered open a new chapter in the history of evolution. After the first one was found in 1928 in Peru in a fairly well-preserved state. Some believe that the skulls could have been deformed over time due to the strange traditions of ancient cultures that used bindings to flatten their heads. But there is still a possibility that they actually belong to extraterrestrial beings. Images of these strange creatures that appeared on the internet have sparked heated discussions among internet users, as nobody knows where and when this discovery was made. Although these figures have some humanoid characteristics, their overly thin bodies and elongated skulls resemble those of aliens. Nothing more is known about these rare creatures, but according to some reports, the unusual discovery was made in Mexico during an excavation at an ancient cemetery. And we all know the Mexicans' passion for the world of the deceased. Since then, it has been carefully concealed, with even the Mexican scientific community completely denying the fact of the finding. This only stimulates enthusiasts of these mysteries. And if any of you know anything about these humanoids, please share the information in the comments because our program has come to an end.